part of what I wanted to say I couldn't deliver I didn't know any way Call me Vera. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica and welcome to the fan carpet. Uh, my part is uh, called Lao Hong Hui Hui Ho. <laughs> Lao Hui Ho. And he's a Chinese gangster in London. And uh, he is a, well, how can I say, you use uh, main character. Robert as a trafficker to to bring um, marijuana anyway, and uh, because he's got a big debts and um, and he's uh, running a casino in the restaurant, and he came to in order to get money, but of course he failed, so he used I mean I used him to traffic uh, yeah, so drugs okay. and um, yeah, so that's so sort of bad guy I am, or he is. <laughs> yeah, just um, even bad guy is very, how can I say, cheerful or something like that. So just, I, you can't play as bad guy, you know. So just I, I was I was just normal. But the storyline is you know, he's yeah. a bad guy, yeah. Oh it's very, very how can I say um, friendly and um, good atmosphere. So I really enjoy that. Yeah. And uh, but I haven't seen Andy since then, so just I really want to see him. Maybe he's too busy. I think it's in a way sort of very fresh because a producer is very young. And um, so uh, or original title was AMS Secrets, but they changed to the title The Host. I, I don't know actually the reason why, but I think it's better better title and um, yeah, the storyline is very grippy, so I hope it will be received very nicely. When I read the script, obviously, uh, either I'm Japanese, but I, my part is uh, in, the, in the film. In the film, just always either Japanese or Chinese or Korean. And strangely, on the stage, you can do anything. For instance, I was a Mexican or Spanish or Jewish or something like that. Or even you can uh, expect a sort of black Romeo, or, you know, those sort of things happen. But strangely, the film is never happened. I can't play as a very posh English gentleman or anything, anything like that. So when I read that, obviously, that's, the, that's my role. And uh, so, yeah. But as I said, um, as a human being, you know, just the existence, I, I think it's very, very nice. And yeah, I really enjoy reading that and acting that. Mike was very helpful for me I mean, because um, English is not my first language. So sometimes tiny things, for instance, or Togo, you forgot, ah, how can you distinguish my ah or that or that sort of things? Because we don't have any um, preposition. 
the Japanese language. So it's very, very difficult. Maybe you learn that kind of things when you when you become three three years old. But I started learning English about thirty five four. Because of course I learned in the school, but I was a very bad student. So I didn't learn properly. And um, so it's very, very difficult. So sometimes when I say my lines is the um, Andy said, Togo, you made a mistake. So I need Mike's help, and he helped me a lot. So, yeah. I don't know, as soon as the camera starts, you know, we, we, we change. So, no matter what uh, the film, film subject or film's actual atmosphere or storyline, you know, just, just before that, we are very chatty. And it's, it's, as soon as we start, <laughs> like this. So, yeah, I think it's it works very well. You know? yeah. Good question, because I think th this is the fiftieth year since I started acting. Okay. And uh, so, but maybe ten or fifteen years ago, when I worked with on the film or stage or other young people, you could be my son, or you could be my daughter, or that sort of things happened. But I realized that last year I was on the stage, of, I played uh, the Cherry Orchard, the Chekhov's Cherry Orchard, and I realized that a couple of or three actors, you could be, you could be my grandson, you know, <laughs> that sort of thing. So I don't know what's my future. So, I don't know, it's just uh, as it comes, you know. Obviously, I can't play very young uh, person, but uh, yeah. I don't know as it comes. So, maybe something, I can say, a kind of depth of uh, personality, you know. It's, well, sometimes because I'm, I'm like this or martial arts master or those sort of things, but somehow, yeah, something, I don't know. Do you know also uh, Ozu's film, like a Tokyo story? Oh, yeah. yeah. Something like that. I, I'm on the edge, edge of that, maybe over already, but the character, the father. So I'm thinking that sort of things. I'm, I'm thinking about uh, one film, it's a sort of secret, but it's a kind of, <laughs> at the moment, it's a sort of plan, pro project. But it's a three generation you need to serve one character. But of course I can't, youngest one, but I try to do the other two age, ages. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more content next time. Sacrifices will be made. Hello? You didn't choose your opponent wisely. Have a lovely stay. on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca.
thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.